During our visit to polling stations, the NBC News team came across the iTech Namibia GPV project group at the Sambuya Combined School, which is one of the polling stations in the Mashare constituency. The team was conducting public awareness among voters on GBV and domestic violence as well as educating them on matters related to sexual reproduction. This they did as part of the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence. That it would be a good opportunity to meet with different uh, types of people. So it is yes declared a holiday, but we thought this is a great opportunity for us to get this message across. And since today is the first day for the uh, 16 days of activism against gender-based violence. So the campaign has started. We have been to different places, Sauyema and Dama, even the open market. We've spoken to the ladies in the open market and we are still proceeding at different uh, facilities. We all know it's a 16 days of activism against gender-based violence in Namibia. So it is an annual activity. It starts on 25 November through to, uh, to the 10th of December, which is the Human Rights Day. So as I take Namibia, we work in collaboration with the Ministry of Health and Social Services to help the ministry in strengthening their post-gender-based violence services. So when we talk about post-gender-based violence services, we are looking at the services the health facility provide to the survivors of gender-based violence. The news team also witnessed a young man being sent away after he was found with two voters cards. The card he came to vote with, officials say, was not registered with the ECN. So I'm worried about when he make me mark. I don't know. I will not feel good you know, because I want to vote. Man is a duplicate. That means he has two cards. Okay. So I have to confiscate the old one and he has to come back to the new one. No, 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 don't worry about because we know who he is. So obviously when he comes back, he'll just go through the process. He doesn't need to go through the... You realize again. Okay. After a short search, Karupo managed to find his officially registered voters card and was allowed to vote. The news team also made a stop at Mashara Combined School polling station. That's a not good. Let me say. Because they they feel they need that we need. We used to tell them everything, but they don't used to do it, especially this Mashari constituency. They can't last a very week. And we need them to change. Or they might just or even the president must just allow us might just give us even a six month or eight months to see if the that uh, the new councillor that we vote if uh, it's not doing anything we must choose the one whom we really want. I didn't face any challenge. Everything is just going well here. We only find two voters who came with the with their Cut, which is for Rundu Eden. I, I try to explain to them that this is regional council election. We cannot allow people who are from Rundu Eden to come vote in Mahari. Mm -hmm. Then they, they, they did understand that. The Mashara constituency has 9,165 registered voters with 12 fixed polling stations and 23 mobile polling stations. Juliana Fuka, NBC News, Mashare Constituency.